to stand by and have everything that's mine taken from me. The global health situation was hard for us all. We saw businesses shut down and the unemployment rate go up. What we also saw is a boom in its subscription for streaming platforms such as Disney Plus and Netflix, but they too suffered several losses. We saw studios shut down and series after series canceled while some are lucky enough to continue operations. Fortunately, Netflix has released several series which are greenlit for the next season. One of these series is the British historical fiction The Last Kingdom, which was approved for a fifth season, but also as it's the last one for the show. Show. It comes as a bittersweet surprise for fans and viewers of the series. Hey there guys, have you picked up a new habit lately? Welcome back to our channel, where the topic of today's video is the British series The Last Kingdom, on what the cast's reactions are about the new season details. Fair warning though, today's episode contains several spoilers from the show, so if you haven't watched it until the last episode yet, make sure you do so now. But if you're cool with that, then by all means proceed at your own risk. One last thing before we get into it, kindly give a thumbs up on today's video, and while you're at it, subscribe to our channel with the notification bell on so you don't miss out on our newest uploads. What The Last Kingdom is about. The Last Kingdom centers on the great heathen army's arrival in Britain in 866. Following the establishment of Danish rule in Jorvik and East Anglia, the show largely focuses on the resistance of the Kingdom of Wessex to ongoing Viking incursions to southern England as is based on Bernard Cowell's The Saxon Story series of novels. A quick recap on what happened in the previous season. During the series finale on season 4, the show ended with a surprise truce but also with a horrible new clash. After Sigtrigger and Breda led the Danes' capture of Wessex capital city Winchester, in King Edward's absence, Uhtred Regner's son must find a way to save the city. In addition to that, he needs to hatch a plan to save King Edward's sons, and since Sigtrigger made him choose which boy will live, Athelstan, the firstborn from a secret marriage, or Elfwerd, his son from his current marriage. What will be the storyline for Season 5? The Last Kingdom Season 5 will consist of another 10 episodes on Netflix, based on books 9 and 10 of the Saxon stories, Warriors of the Storm and the Flamebearer. The official synopsis of the season is described as follows. The fifth installment will see Uhtred realize his destiny is more than just Bevenberg. It is tied to the future of England itself. Charged with training King Edward's firstborn son Athelstan as warrior, Uhtred's ambition will have an even higher purpose. But to achieve this destiny, Uhtred will have to face down his greatest enemy and suffer his greatest loss. Seeing how the show is not scared to kill any of its characters, fans are worried about who will die this season, especially among Uhtred's comrades. Aside from that, we're also looking forward to seeing the development of Stiora, Uhtred's daughter, and the mysterious Viking warrior Sigtrigger, who appeared to have formed a genuine connection under unlikely circumstances. There's also the entrance of another formidable warlord into the story, Ragnall Iverson. But like other series that are based on books, the live adaptation made several major changes in the show. Nigel Marchant, the show's executive producer, spoke with RadioTimes.com and dropped several hints on where the storyline could go next. I think we'll tell the story of these separate kingdoms coming together and how that union happens, and also does Uhtred get back to Bevenberg? Does he get his dream? Does he find his legacy? And what's his involvement in bringing these kingdoms together? Marchand Quip. Who are the returning cast members this final season? Most of the main cast is returning in season 5 except for English actor Ian Hart who portrayed Father Bianca. In the early episode of The Last Kingdom season 4 he was killed with an arrow struck to his heart. This scene took place during Uhtred's plan of invading his childhood home, Bevenberg. He jumped in front of Uhtred's son to save him from the arrow. Alexander Draymond. German-born Alexander Draymond will return to reprise his lead role as Uhtred for the last time in Season 5. He shared in a statement how he loves his job and how much of a wonderful journey it was. I love this job. Playing Uhtred for 5 seasons has been a wonderful journey, and I'm truly grateful to have been given the opportunity to direct. In doing so, I came to fully appreciate the spectacular talent and skill of our cast and crew even more. I can't wait to share it with our fans, with whom none of this would be possible, Draymond concluded. Emily Cox. Playing opposite Uhtred in the lead role is Brita, portrayed by a Australian actress Emily Cox. Her character is last seen giving birth alone in the woods, so there's a lot to look forward to. And let's not forget that she turned into Uhtred's enemy too as of late. The actress is currently based in Berlin and Vienna and has appeared in a few movies for the big screen, including the 2010 Austrian drama title The Fatherless, as well as the 
2014 war drama The Silent Mountain and the 2018 German drama called Head Full of Honey. Millie Brady. British actress Millie Brady will also return as Ethelfled, Lady of the Mercians. She is the eldest daughter of Alfred the Great, King of the Anglo-Saxon Kingdom of Wessex, and his wife, Ellsworth. Aside from The Last Kingdom, the actress also made an appearance in Netflix's original series The Queen's Gambit, where she portrayed the role of Cleo. Eliza Buttersworth. Viewers can now breathe a sigh of relief since Eliza Buttersworth is also returning for the last time as Lady Ellsworth. Her appearance in the upcoming season was unsure considering how she was cruelly poisoned by Athelhelm towards the end of season 4, but social media posts have surfaced of the actress being present on set. Butterworth shared with RadioTimes.com how playing the character of Lady Ellsworth was really exciting to play, especially on how her character slowly becomes unhinged and vulnerable. It was really exciting to play her in those more sensitive sides, not only emotionally, but now also physically. We really see her completely unraveling and becoming so weak, and those around her feeling complete and utter sympathy and realizing they do need her around. It's quite sad to maybe see her go, so we don't know, the actress concluded. Timothy Inez English actor Timothy Inez will also return as King Edward in the show. Fans and viewers will recall that King Edward is the son of King Alfred, played by David Dawson. He's trying to find his place as king after his father, but it's a challenging and hard situation for him. Other actors who are confirmed to return to their respective roles are Finn Elliott as young Uhtred, Ruby Hartley as Tiora, Lithuanian actor Arnis Federovikius as Citric, Scottish actor Mark Rowley as Finnan, British actor Ewan Mitchell as Osford, English actress Stephanie Martini as Aidwith, Norwegian actor Jeff Peck Larson as Hasten, British actor Kevin Clerken as Father Peerlig, Adrian Schiller as Aethelhelm the Elder, Eisen Sigerson as Warlord Sigtrigger, and Ocean Parrot as Witgar. When and where can I watch The Last Kingdom Season 5? There's still no word of when Season 5 will premiere, considering production and filming are still underway and are set to wrap up around summer. If all goes well and no hindrances are in view, then we may see the series debut its fifth season in the late 2021 or first quarter of 2022. In a social media post last April 2021, Draymond and several other of his co-stars confirmed that the crew returned to Hungary to shoot its final season. Considering the circumstances, we're incredibly fortunate to be in production at the moment, he said. Everyone is doing their part, it's going very well so far, and we hope to be able to bring something really special. The actor continued, I want to say thank you for all your continued support because we wouldn't be here without you and we're all sending you lots of love. If we go by the earliest possible date, 17 months from the release of season 4, then the fifth season would arrive in October 2021 and as it stands, the longest time between seasons, 18 months, would push the release date to November 2021. Let's not forget that the world is still in the middle of the global health situation, so let's hope filming will go smoothly without any hindrances. And that wraps up today's episode about The Last Kingdom's new season details. Hopefully you enjoyed watching today's video as much as we enjoyed making it. The Last Kingdom is available for streaming on Netflix. If you want to binge watch all four seasons, type yourself up for season five. Do it! It's awesome! Before you go, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel with the notification bell on so you don't miss out on our new releases. We've got a lot of other interesting videos up on our channel for you to choose from. Thanks for watching today's video and we'll see you at the next one.